When the 2016 AMA Pro ATV Motocross Championship kicked off at the famous Daytona International Speedway, you knew that the top riders would be all out for victory, and they left it all out on the track, including a big crash from Joel Hetrick, big passes from Jeffrey Rastrelli, and bumping and banging action throughout the top five. But when it was all said and done, defending champion Chad Wienan finally nailed down the victory at Daytona, serving notice he is still the one to beat this season. From Underground Motocross Park in Kemp, Texas, ATV Motocross is next. Next. Deep in the heart of Texas, round two of uh, the 2016 Pro X ATV National Motocross Championship, sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing and presented by CST Tires. Riders of all ages out here will have amateur and youth divisions competing, along with, of course, our pro riders, which we will focus on today. Awesome to have little kids out here racing with us. They were not part of the ATV Supercross program at our series opener in Daytona. The pro riders, though, were a lot of them happy about their performances there, a lot of them looking for more today. And this track, always a favorite with the riders. Good to see it as a points-paying round of the series now after some great one-off events. Hey, old Corey Ellis there giving David Hogsma some advice. Hogsma new to uh, full-time motocross, but was strong at Daytona. So a whole bunch of names lined up. There's the Iron Man, John Natale. They're all focused on Chad Wien and who won in Daytona and, of course, has the number one plate as defending champ. Coming off the, the win at Daytona, man, it's, uh, it was a great race. Uh, I was able to make quick moves and, and you know, just stay clean and uh, not have to deal with the bumping and grinding going on out there, it seemed like, behind me. And I uh, was able to run a clean race. And we've had you know, a good month off from our last race. So we're here in Texas. And you know, my plan is just to go out there and get a great start, just like we, we did in the first round of the racing. And uh, you know, the track is really rough today. So it's going uh, to be one of those things where you just pick your moves where you need to and uh, kind of let the other guys kind of make the mistakes and uh, just try and outlast them with our longer motos this year. And, uh, Really excited about it, and we're going to try and put this Yamaha back on the top of the box. Well, Chad is excited, but he's won a lot of races and titles the last few years. Podium finishes are still relatively new to Jeff Rastrelli, who was so pumped to get on the box at Daytona and do it in front of home state fans. Coming here at Underground MX, I think you know, I'm looking for a, a win. Um, I was just a, a hair off at Daytona. and. I want to take it to the next level. I've never got a pro win, so uh, we're looking to come here and, and click off some moto wins, hopefully, and make some moves quick in the motos and get out front and, and uh, hopefully just, just check out or just be able to stay out front from the beginning of the race to the end and make it easy on myself. And Instead of at Daytona, I, can't, I uh, made a mistake, had to catch the pack, made a mistake, and then had to catch back up and then pass everybody. So trying to make it a little easier on myself this weekend and, and see what we can do. All right, another rider to watch today, right there in the center of the screen, the very proud Texan, Thomas Brown, who would love to take the win out here. We'll talk to him and get to highlight some qualifying next. ATV Motocross brought to you in part by Pro-X Racing Parts, RockyMountainATVMC.com, get ready. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. And by CST Tires, where passion meets the ground. All right, we're at Underground Motocross in Kemp, Texas. So a lot of pressure on Thomas Brown, the Texas native, to try to deliver a victory in front of his home fans. We're here in the great state of Texas, hometown. Well, not hometown, but home state. I'm only an hour and a half from here, so we should have a lot of uh, friends and family coming in. And it should be a great weekend. You know, I've, I've been here a few times. This is one of the best uh, tracks in the country, I feel, but definitely the best track in Texas. But, uh, you know, I'm looking for that win still. I want to leave here with more points, maybe a red plate. But just keep moving forward. I don't want to throw it away early in the season. Just keep working towards that championship. You know, we got to keep Chad in check and not let him get too far out front. He likes to get a little gap and then run comfortable. So when you take that away from him, maybe get a few moto wins in and see if we can uh, do some damage. Well, okay. Thomas Brown, no pressure on him indeed. In fact, he's looking to put the pressure on others. And it will start with qualifying. This will determine gate picks. We're going to see the fastest riders in the ATV Motocross game on court here at the Texas National. It's the 88 of Joel Hedrick coming back from an injury. More on that in a bit. And there's the number one of Wienan, who rides for Yamaha Wienan Motorsports, SSI decals, Walsh Racecraft, 
Fly Racing and Maxis. And speaking of Fly, look at these guys air it out over this huge triple. There's Thomas Brown up in uh, on the 84 in action. Here's the lucky 13, the Iron Man, John Natale, was up front in Daytona. Did not get the win there this year like he did last year, so he's out for vengeance today. 422, David Hogsma. Race Series part-time last year, showed great speed. He is in full-time this year. Watch out for him. And A, Nick Janusa out of New Jersey, last year's Rookie of the Year, could be a contender today. Veteran rider and veteran colors, the old Four Tracks 250R look for Josh Upperman on number 20. And here's Joel Hedrick in the 88. Crashed out of Daytona, hurt his knee, back today and looking very fast. 665, that's Ronnie Higgerson. 77 is Nick Moser. And another one of these retro Hondas, 38, of Sam Rowe. Love what uh, Root River did to make those look like the famous 1986 Hondas. Silas Lamons on the Suzuki there going by. We'll throw a few other names at you. Brent Music and Sean Taylor. Here he is on the 39. And Joe Bird, former series champ in the farewell season for the nice guy out of Tennessee. Johnny Hale, 16, and Nicholas Cavigliasso. The 68 coming by this track. Does it look fun to ride or what? Look at this soil as well. And look at this time. Hetrick, who wasn't even sure of his condition today due to the knee injury, comes out and takes the Fast Qualifier Award here at the Texas National. So apparently the 88 is feeling good enough. Could he pull off an upset win today despite the injury? Yeah, I went out in the first qualifier and ended up getting the top qualifier. Uh, I think I got about like two tenths of a second over Chad. It's a pretty tough track today. It's getting really rough out there. The track's super soft. I think they watered it so much. It's uh, it's going to be a, a tough 20 minutes to each moto. So I think I'll be okay. I'm, I'm about 75%. So I just got to you know put some solid laps down and be safe and come out of here with hopefully a podium. Yeah, Hetrick needs those top three points today. Was a big contender in the preseason for Wienan's title. We'll see if he can beat him after this. ATV Motocross brought to you in part by Pro X Racing Parts. Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. And by CST Tires, where passion meets the ground. Yeah, boys. Sean Natale and Joel Hetrick getting ready for Pro X Moto number one here at the Texas National. It's ATV Motocross. I'm your host, Jason Wygant. Mechanics about to clear the line. Very sandy racetrack today, by the way. So what you see on lap one of this moto, it'll look a lot different as every lap reels off. Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board with Josh Upperman. Here we go. Bad news, boys. The champs got the whole shot. Chad Wheenan around the outside, but he gets edged out. I think John Natale trying to take it back from him. Here's Upperman in about fifth. Yeah, the Ironman of the 13 into the lead. This track is already quite bumpy after qualifying and some motos for our amateur riders. Here's the big triple. Practically a quad for these guys on quads, but Natale in the lead. Right on the Baldwin Motorsports machine. He's got Wheenan right behind him. Hogsma and Hedrick. Rastrelli's got a Rocky Mountain on board as well. He's trying to get around the other rider with the on board and looking right at him. That's the 20 of Upperman. Let's see what Natale can do. He led early on at Daytona. Wienan was able to make quick work of him, and that's rare. Natale knows how to ride a wide machine. Upperman still under pressure from Rastrelli, and Rastrelli makes the move. Oh, a little bobble by Natale into that corner, but look, he's actually distancing, distancing himself from Wienan a bit, and this could be why. Listen to that roost. That stuff hurts. I think the champ might be trying to stay out of the roost zone. Battle between Hogsma and Hetrick, third and fourth. I think Hetrick just made the move. But how about Hogsma, man? He can run the pace with these guys. Coming over from the work series, which is an off-road tour, Certainly not afraid to go fast. They go really fast. Those are more desert-type races as we focus back in on our leaders. Natale has the point position. Wienan actually credited with the SSI Decals Whole Shot Award, and he's trying it inside line, nearly side-by-side side over that big jump. Back on board with Rastrelli, who's right in the hunt. Look, that's Thomas Brown now ahead of him. 
What a pack up front here. You got Hetrick in third, right behind Weenan. Go all the way back to Rastrelli, who's about fifth right now, and they are close. You can see that lead pack up ahead. Down to the inside goes Weenan, and he's got the spot from Natali. Natali gonna try to dance back to the inside. No, oh, they almost come together. And look at Hetrick. The door was open thanks to the pass by uh, Weenan, and I thought Hetrick was going to take advantage, but no. Natali still right in front of him. Natali with a look over his shoulder, sees the kid back there. Oh, Hetrick crosses him up, nice job. There's Strelly and Hogsma battling right behind them. Hetrick still not able to pull off that pass. And we'll see how long Hetrick can hold on, nursing that knee injury from the big crash at Daytona. He did grab that ATVRiders.com Fast Qualifier Award you saw earlier in the show. But the speed for one lap in practice and speed through a long, rough photo like this, that's two totally different things. Plus, you have riders like Rastrelli bearing down on him from behind. Great racing today early from Underground MX. Weenan trying to get away, but this pack is saying, not today, champ. Look, Hetrick is up to the number two position and keeping the heat on. ATV Motocross brought to you in part by Pro-X Racing Parts, RockyMountainATVMC.com, get ready. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. And by CST Tires, where passion meets the ground. Boom, big air time for Chad Wien, and then right behind him, Joel Hetrick. It's the battle we wanted to see. Hetrick, lightning fast last year, and at one point wrestled the points lead from Wien. A couple of inconsistent motos. Put Wien back in control. Oh, the championship for Estrelli goes by a stopped John Natale. He stalled it in that corner. He's got it back running, so not a mechanical failure, but enough for Estrelli to move up into third. Yeah, Natalie back underway. He's on the right side of your screen. Thomas Brown right with him. So Rastrelli showing the top three podium finish at Daytona. No fluke. Weenan now starting to pull away a bit from Hetrick. As I was talking, Hetrick's speed last year was right there with him. Oh, and a mistake from Rastrelli. Thomas Brown going to get around him. It's the hang time on that jump. They're up there forever. Oh, this one's not over. Rastrelli trying to come back on Brown. Ah, oh, such great racing between these two. And Rastrelli wrestles it back. You can tell this dude is confident. Oh, but a little mistake. Got high in that berm again. Made that mistake a few times in this photo. All the work he did to repass Brown and he gives the spot right back. Meanwhile, big, tall Chad Wien, and as this track gets rougher, he only gets faster. He is distancing, distancing himself from Hetrick. So our focus goes back to this battle. Whoa! Natalie is back to get around Rastrelli. So last two laps have not been what Rastrelli wanted. He goes from third to fifth. Two laps to go now for your leader, Chad Wien. Calls Galena, Illinois home, but he has a track that he owns in Florida now, so these sandy conditions certainly familiar with him. Oh, this battle keeps on raging. David Hogsma now all over Australia to try to take fifth away. He just saw Brown and Natale go by. Then there's that Rastrelli Hogsma battle. And Chad Weenan is gone, folks. Wide open Weenan. You give him a big section of whoops like this, there's no one in the world that can go faster through there. One lap to go. Looks like it's survival mode for the ailing Joel Hetrick. But uh, he said the goal today was to just finish on the podium. Second place here in Moto 1. It's right where he wants to be. We will have a second Moto coming up right after this. Checkers coming out. Chad Weenan had to get around John Natale. Had to hold off Joel Hetrick. This guy is aces. He wins Moto number 1. We'll give you an idea of the gap here. Gutsy ride, though, for Hetrick with the injury. And Thomas Brown makes Texas happy with that third-place finish. 
And we're ready to re-rack him in Moto2, and something has changed dramatically. The weather. Yeah, see all the tape, the jacket, the towels. All this is because it's mud prep time for Pro X Moto Number 2. We'll see how long the Rocky Mountain ATV MC helmet cam can stay clean on these guys. We're ready to roll in the mud. Start so critical. Yep, see all the water and roost these guys are going to take on immediately if you're not up front. And for the second moto in a row, it's Chad Weenan with the SSI Decals Whole Shot Award. You don't normally see this kind of start prowess from the champ, but you need it on a rainy, muddy day like this. Looks over to make sure he's got room to cover Natali, and Natali is attacking him. I think it's Brown on the Yamaha up to third. They're pulling tear-offs over this big jump. And if the leader is pulling tear-offs, you can imagine what Natalia is dealing with in the roost zone right behind him. Unbelievable, they're still jumping this stuff. Track has to be like ice in spots. And look at the difference. Look how clean Wayne is. Look how buddy. Natalia is in second. I think that's why Natalia went for it, those second and third corners. You just got to be desperate when you're in second. If you can make that quick pass like you did in Moto 1, then he's eating the mud. Wasn't able to do it, though. Ronnie Higgerson with a good start. Ahead of Hetrick here, he's got the white gear. And I think that's Rastrelli taking off Roost behind him. Now, Wienan starting to pull away. So the focus goes to this group, and it's going to be a slugfest for the podium. Natalie in second, fourth in the first Moto. Hetrick, second in moto number one, is running fifth right now. Track is held up nicely. We did not quite able to get over the landing of that jump, but close enough. And pulling roll-offs in every corner. And again, he's a leader. He has the least amount of vision problems imagine what the rest of these guys are dealing with. Natalie back by Max's Fly Racing and Baldwin Racing. Here's Higgerson still holding tough. In fact, what happened to Thomas Brown? So the home track favorite going to have to go back to work. Must have made a mistake. And it's not easy to do in these muddy conditions to make up that kind of ground. That's what Joel Hedrick's trying to do. And he finally busts through against Higgerson. Stay with us. ATV Motocross brought to you in part by Pro-X Racing Parts, RockyMountainATVMC.com, get ready, Amsoil, the first in synthetics, and by CST Tires, where passion meets the ground. Battle is on, and it continues for third now. Ronnie Higgerson and Joel Hetrick going back and forth. Chad Whedon getting away. You're watching the Pro-X ATV Motocross Championship from Underground Motocross Park in Texas. But unfortunately today, it is not literally underground. No roof over our heads. And that means the rain has saturated this track. It has not slowed Chad Wayne in one bit. And it just means that Higgerson and Hetrick, who are having this big battle, they're just roosting each other with mud even worse. Sandwiched between Wayne in here and that battle for third is John Natale in second. Savage Motorsports backing Higgerson. And what a ride he's putting in. Now actually extending it a bit over Hetrick, so nice ride by him. Weenan, best ride of all. He's gotten away, can ride standing up, saving energy, and just on complete cruise control now. Let's not start talking perfect season yet, but he's looking at two overall wins to start the year. I see a little lightning, I thought, in the distance. This thing could be over quickly, and Hetrick might be aware of that. He goes right after Higgerson to get third place back. That might keep him on the overall podium for the day. Probably going to be second ahead of Natale now. And as they say in racing, a good points day for Natale and for Hetrick. They'll be back to fight Wayne in another day. Last lap now. It is a mercy lap, I think, for everyone. Get them out of this rain and mud. We're going to go the full distance, though. These guys are just as tough as they come. So Chad Wienan starting off the year as best as he possibly could. 
got two big hole shots today, and that makes a huge difference. Didn't have to work his way through the mud with other riders in front of him. Instead, he went wire to wire in moto number two. And there is your overall, yes, Natalie and Hetrick there as well. All right, uh, great day here at Underground MX. Uh, two hole shots, two moto wins, and uh, with the overall, so. Just the day with the with the rain coming down second moto is uh, is so important to get that those uh, positions right out of the gate and uh, getting that hole shot and you know just riding that smooth calculated race and uh, trying not to override the machine where you're making mistakes and maybe get high side on a berm is really really easy to do that and, uh, the mud actually got really loose and. Uh, you know, on top of that hard packed in, uh, in some spots so it was uh it's pretty skatey and loose and my uh, max's tires hooked up great and you know awesome weekend and uh get, getting max points so we're we're looking forward to heading to tennessee next so we'll see you there came into the weekend with uh two partially tore ligaments and uh, about 75 percent you know i knew i could uh ride a fast pace but I didn't know how long so just got a little winded the first moto and the second moto I just held back and knew I was in second overall and just uh, raced my race had to throw the goggles off so I couldn't really make any moves after that but you know I, I feel like I ended up in a good position and you know heading to Muddy Creek I've won there last year two one ones and I think you know I had really good finishes there so I'm excited. Um, all in all you know I, I do pretty well at the, at the mud riding and uh, uh, I was kind of happy, you know, I, I come out second behind Chad, I made a run at him a couple of times, just couldn't quite get my myself around him, and uh, he threw a lot of mud on me, so I decided to back off and just settle for second, and I figured if anybody was back there in third, they had to deal with the same thing I was from Chad, so came away with third overall for the weekend, but uh, with a fourth and a second, uh, pro pays by point, you know, per moto, and uh, hopefully, I think we're going to be pretty darn close to second in points. All right, good job by our top three today. Here's our Amsoil race recap. Natalie actually looked to have the whole shot in Moto One, but Weenan stole it away from him. They went at it pretty good in the first couple of laps. Weenan started to get away. Then Natalie makes a mistake, stalls it. We'll go back to fifth, start making some passes. Thomas Brown able to move his way up into a podium position. And the race win goes to Chad Wade in totally different conditions in Moto Two. Yeah, you can't run four motos to start the year in ATV motocross without one of them being a mudder. It just seems like a constant here. Big battle, Higgerson and Hetrick for third. Weenie would take the win over Natalie. He's two for two to start this year off. We'll see if these boys can step it up and take it to him at our next race from Muddy Creek. Thanks for watching.